school districts reacting today to Governor Glenn Youngkin's executive order that sets the stage for schools to unplug cell phone use. WFXR Sam Graham has what this order could mean for local students and how district leaders are reacting. Amid growing concerns about the negative impacts of cell phones and social media in classrooms, a new executive order from the governor calls on the Virginia Department of Education to draft guidance on how schools should handle cell phones by the start of 2025. So we appreciate the, the governor's support on this important topic because uh, we know that everyone is kind of buzzing about it today, but we've been buzzing about this for quite some time. Roanoke City Schools have been in the process of reviewing and amending their cell phone policy for several months already. Now, several other school systems have already revised their current policies in advance of the new school year. However, once the final guidance is handed down, those school systems could be asked to do so again. And we may have to modify our policies once the video guidelines come in place. This order also comes in response to growing concern over the negative impacts that prolonged cell phone and social media use can have on the mental health of kids and teens. I think with COVID-19, there was a lot of isolation with kids. And so they got more and more reliant on that social media. And, you know, it becomes almost like an addiction. Director Brown believes the new order could promote better social skills in schools and cut down on online bullying. VDOE has been asked to take feedback from the public into account as they create their final guidance for school districts. Draft guidance is expected to be completed by August 15th with final guidance to be made in September. In Roanoke, Sam Graham, WFXR News.